Hi, this is Abby Levine with Gaia GPS. In this lesson, you're going to learn what on earth you see when you open the Gaia GPS app. You're also going to learn arguably the most important skill, locating and orienting yourself on the map. Once you've mastered this skill, you'll be able to read the map and find your way back if you lose your way. I can't tell you how many times this one tool has saved my butt on the trail, whether that be figuring out which way to turn at a trail junction, finding my way back to the trail if I get off course, or beelining it back home in a hailstorm. Let's check it out. Step one to using the map is figuring out what you're seeing when you open the app. When you open Gaia GPS, the map centers around your location. Your precise location is that little location arrow that sits on the map. Notice the little ruler on the bottom right corner. That shows the map scale. Zoom in and we get a closer up view to the map, which also reveals more map details. Zoom out and we get a better lay of the land while details disappear, but key landmarks remain in view. Pan around the map to see more of the landscape. Step two is refining your location on the map if you can no longer see your location arrow. This is called recentering. To recenter yourself on the map, just tap that little circle, otherwise known as the locate icon, which is the second icon over on the very top bar of the screen. Voila! My location is now smack back in the middle of the map. Step three is learning the different navigation modes, off, compass, and course. When the locate icon is green, navigation mode is off. This means your location arrow points in whatever direction you're holding your phone, and the map remains stationary, pointing north. I personally find this to be the most useful mode. It allows you to point your phone to a landmark, look down at the map, and figure out what you're seeing. It also makes it easy to figure out if you should go left or right at a trail intersection. And most importantly, if you go off trail and get disoriented and are having a hard time finding your way back, just point your phone in the direction of the trail and travel in that direction. As you move, your arrow will move up, down, or around the map as well. If you tap that locate icon again, it turns red. Now you're in compass mode. In compass mode, your location arrow still points in the cardinal direction you're pointing the phone. Once again, the map remains static, pointing north. The key difference here between off and compass mode is your location arrow remains centered on the map, even as you move about. This mode is useful if you wanna keep your eyes on your location at all times without having to pan around the map. If you tap the locate icon one more time, you'll activate course mode. Rotating your phone in course mode rotates the map as well, mirroring what you see on the ground. In other words, the map moves compass directions as you rotate your phone, yet your location arrow continues to point up. I especially find this mode useful when driving. It operates exactly like what you're used to for any other car navigation app. One more super useful trick for locating and orienting yourself on the map. If you have an iPhone, you can tap anywhere on the map and you'll see exactly how far away you are from that spot, in addition to your bearing in relation to that spot. So if I want to quickly approximate how much further I have to go into the trailhead, I can just tap the trailhead on the map and I'll see. You may have also noticed that you can see a bunch of other information when you tap on the map. For one, you get the precise weather for that location. More on that later. You can also see the latitude and longitude of that location, a list of points of interest nearby, any routes, waypoints, or tracks you've saved. Don't worry, we'll get to that. Swipe up on this tap drawer that you're seeing to see the full list of items. Okay, now let's look at the top of the screen. We've already met the locate icon. To its left is the full screen button. Tap that to see the map in full screen mode. We'll learn more about those two buttons to the right of the locate icon in the following courses. For now, let's look at the bar directly below the location icon. This is called the stats bar. Tap it to customize the info you see. Or if you wanna see more of the map and fewer stats, you can actually turn off the stats bar entirely. Just go to settings, then tap map controls and toggle off the stats bar. Okay, I have to give a shout out to this beautiful map we're looking at. It's called Gaia Topo, and it was designed in-house by our incredible cartography team. Gaia Topo is the map you automatically see when you open the app. It isn't the typical map you'll find on your phone, which is designed for car travel. 
Gaia Topo is designed specifically for backcountry travel and human-powered travel. If you want to learn more about our maps designed specifically for backcountry skiing slash winter travel or off-road travel and overlanding, check out our Gaia Advanced course. Gaia Topo shows tree shading so you can find the alpine and topo lines that indicate slope steepness. Trails are color-coded based on permitted activities Plus, all major long trails in the U.S. have a special designation with the blazes used to mark them in real life. For example, I'm super close to the Pacific Crest Trail, and you can see those blazes right on the map. You can also see 4x4 roads, point-to-point -point mileage markers, points of interest, amenities, campsites, and public land boundaries. Gaia Topo has worldwide coverage, making it useful all over the world. You can learn what all the colors, symbols, and trail types mean by clicking that little I button on the bottom right corner. This brings up the map key. The last thing I want to point out in this course is the search button on the bottom bar. You can use it to find some hikes, parks, or locations nearby, or even far away. I hope these details help you on your next adventure. You now have one of the most important skills, locating and orienting yourself on the map, making your next adventure that much better. Thanks for watching. Have fun out there.